Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I'm Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Well, California, it's been a while since we got to talk about you, and we usually wait for you to do something crazy, something totally sinister or nefarious, and that does happen every few weeks, and then we can share that with all of our viewers so they can understand what stupidity may be coming their way soon. However, I think you guys have really outdone yourself because, see, as we know, California, which used to be the absolute greatest state in the union, has managed to absolutely, completely run itself into the dirt with its woke and progressive politics. And there are very few industries even left remaining in the state of California. And it appears that they've come up with a legislative scheme to try to kill yet another one. And this one's gonna really hurt California. So today, let's spend a few minutes and let's talk about how California will kill its film industry with gun control. Okay, before we get going too far down the road, this video is dedicated to my first ever California subscriber, of course, that being Philip P. Philip, this one is for you. He has been spreading the gospel of Washington gun law since way back in the day when I was rocking this dude. So, Philip, thank you for all your support of Washington gun law. What am I talking about today? Well, I'm talking about Senate Bill 735, or what is now known as the Protect Everyone on the Set from Alec Baldwin Act of 2023. You see, this bill is going to finally address the scourge of gun violence that we are seeing on movie sets. Now, as we know, the state of California has so many regulations, so many laws, so many regulatory schemes that they are literally about to bankrupt the marijuana industry. That's right. California is so overregulated that they are actually going to bankrupt legalized drug dealers. There are very few industries that are really re left intact in the state of California anymore due to all of their progressive legislation, regulatory schemes, and taxation. Along comes Senate Bill 735 a bill that is going to finally make the filmmaking industry safe from gun violence, but in doing so is going to create a regulatory scheme that I believe will force every major filmmaker to never make another film in the state of California again. Don't believe me? Well, I'm going to share with you what this bill is going to do, and what I want you to do is I want you to think about the cost that's going to be associated with every piece of this legislation. What would Senate Bill 735 does? Well, it does quite a bit, so bear with me as I tell you everything that this bill would do. Okay, Senate Bill 735 within the Occupational Safety and Health Standards Board would create the Safety Onset Productions Pilot Program. It requires employers to hire a qualified safety advisor. It would require the safety advisor to perform risk assessments. The safety advisor may actually need to perform specific risk assessments, whatever the hell that means. All assessments must be made available to the public in any other regulatory scheme. It requires daily safety meetings. You must assign team leaders to ensure compliance. So that is everyone from the film crew, everyone from the sound crew, everyone from the lighting crew. There will be a team leader that will be assigned to ensure compliance. Then after the filming is done, an independent evaluator must be hired after production to evaluate your safety procedures. They must then file a compliance report within 60 days of completing of the filming. And by January 1st, 2029, this pilot program will make recommendations, non-binding recommendations to the state legislature as to which portions of the bill should remain in effect. But that's not all, you see, because there's gonna be additional requirements for those on set who are handling firearms, including the following would only allow for the use of firearms and blanks under certain conditions. It requires the armorer to have a state license and complete state training. Anyone who even handles a firearm must undergo the state training. It has all new reporting requirements mandated by the state. It prohibits ammunition on set, which I think is actually probably a good idea. I don't know why real ammunition would be on set. I suppose you could ask the crew of Rust. There's more. It allows for state inspections of all movie sets and also exempts police and security, fortunately, oh wait, who are working outside the perimeter of the set. Yeah, that's right. So any licensed armed security or law enforcement would have to follow all of the guidelines to be armed on the set of the movie. Outside the perimeter, that's fine. So this is going to be really interesting because in many ways, this is going to add 
massive amounts of cost to the overall production cost of movie making in California. Are we going to see all of the people in Hollywood who gladly want to tell us how we need to live our lives to re readily admit that they should be exempt for that for financial reasons? Here's the other thing, and this is true. Uh, people in high profile positions such as Hollywood actors are subject to more security threats than the average Joe. Are you no longer allowed to have armed security on the set with you? Because that poses a great level of danger. And so we're going to be in to see the cracks here between those that want to tell you how to live versus how they choose to live their life. The Senate bill is Senate Bill 735. We understand that all the votes are there and this is likely to pass. And when it gets to Governor Newsom's desk, he is going to sign it. And I'm telling you right now, California, this is absolutely going to kill your filmmaking industry. And for all the things that California has done wrong, and for a handful of the things that California has done right going back in history, isn't it funny that the thing that will finally kill the great California filmmaking industry is gun control? Listen, you may have more questions about what's going on in California, anything else related to what's left of our Second Amendment rights. You guys should know how to contact Washington Gun Law by now. But if you don't, that's okay. That information is down there in the description box. In the meantime, I do want all of you to remember that part of being a lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here, is to know what the law is in every situation, how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching. Stay safe.